All right, more angle relationships today. I think the last term on Friday we talked about was complementary angles. So today, supplementary. <laughs> supplementary angles are two angles. measures that sum 180. Hundred and eighty degrees. Complementary would sum ninety, supplementary sum one eighty. So if the angle on the left measures 40 degrees, what does the angle on the right got to measure for them to be supplementary? 140, good. We talked about a linear pair on Friday. A linear pair, angle one plus angle two in this picture. What's the sum of these two angles? 180, right? Because they form a line. A linear pair. Are supplementary. Top of page 48, there's an example problem. Find the measures of two supplementary angles. If the difference in the measures of the angles is 18, if the difference in the measures of the angles is 18. <coughs> so you've got one angle. And then you've got another angle. And if they're supplementary, the two angles have to sum 180, right? Okay. So if the angle on the left is x degrees, and they're supplementary, what would be the measure of the angle on the right? Hold that thought. If you got an angle right here and another angle right, oh, let's just say it's right here. They're a linear pair, right? 
And this one's 120. And I ask you for this one. What is this one? 60. 60. How'd you do that so fast? Didn't you do 180 in your head minus 120? And that equals? Right. Now look at this. If one of the measures is given in terms of x, what's this angle? Isn't it 180 minus x? Okay. Find the measures of two supplementary angles if the difference in the angle measures. If the difference in the measures of the angles is 18, what does difference mean to do? Subtract. Subtract. So look, in order to find the value of x, you would have to take x and let's see, what would you have to do to it? Okay, so the difference in these two angles, so 180 minus x minus the other angle, which is x, has to equal 18, right? The difference in the measures of the angles is 18. Okay, here's one of the angles minus the other angle is 18. All right? So now, combine your like terms and solve for x. So you're going to get 180. And what's negative x minus x? Negative 2x equals 18. get the variable by itself, so subtract 180 from each side. And negative 2x would equal negative 162. And then divide both sides by negative 2. And there's one of your angles. So here's one angle, which is 81 degrees. And then 180 minus 81 degrees is 99 degrees. So those are your two angle measures. Good with that? Okay, let's find the measures of two complementary angles. If the measure of the larger is 12 more than twice the smaller. Okay, so you've got two complementary angles, right? So what do they have to add up to? Okay, so you've got an angle plus another angle that has to equal 90 degrees. Let's just call one of the angles X. That's going to be the smaller one. 
It says the larger is 12 more than twice the smaller. How would you write 12 more than twice the smaller? How would you write twice the smaller? 2x plus 12. 2x, and then 12 more than that would be plus 12. So there's your setup. One angle plus another angle has to equal 90 because they are complementary. So then you can combine like terms. So 3x plus 12 equals 90. Subtract 12 from each side. 3x equals 78, and then divide by 3. And x equals 26. So there's your smaller angle. If uh, 26 is the smaller, 2 times 26 is 52 plus 12. 64 degrees. Questions? All right, moving along to the bottom of page 48. Line segments or rays. Form right angles. Are perpendicular. Lines, segments, or rays that form right angles are perpendicular. So perpendicular means that it sums 90, right? Sum 90. Remember, a right angle measures 90 degrees. So any line or segment or rays that form right angles, 90 degree angles, they're called perpendicular. Here's a symbol for perpendicular. It's just an upside down T. That means perpendicular. <clears throat> so on the top of page 49, you're asked to find x and y. So that Line PR and line SQ are perpendicular. And your drawing looks something like this. The more vertical of the two is PR. SQ runs left to right. The ray coming out of the vertex, uh, or the vertex is T, and this ray coming out of there has got a W on it. This angle is 2X. Angle WTR is 5X plus 6, and angle PTQ, 4Y minus 2.
find x and y so that PR and SQ are perpendicular or so that PR and SQ intersect at 90 degrees. So we're looking to make this angle right here equal to 90 degrees. If that angle has to equal 90 degrees, what does this angle plus this angle have to equal? 90 degrees. So for x, 2x plus 5x plus 6, you want it to equal 90 degrees. So 7x plus 6 equals 90 degrees. And subtract 6 from each side. 7x equals 84 and divide by 7. So x equals 12. Now in this diagram, if angle S T R equals 90 degrees, what's the measure of P T Q? Why? What are those angles called? What are what is this angle, P T Q and S T R called? Yes. They're vertical angles. And if STR is 90, then PTQ is 90 because vertical angles are congruent. So to solve for Y, your 4Y minus 2 is equal to 90. So you can add 2 to each side. 4Y equals 92. And divide by 4. Your Y equals 18. Is it? No. I just guessed. 23. Y equals 23. Questions? All right, in your assignment today, page 51, down on the bottom of page 51, um, look at number 19. Number 19, and tell me what you know about those two angles. They're vertical angles, so they're congruent to each other. Look at number 20, what do you know about those two angles? They're a linear pair, so what are they going to add up to? They're going to sum 180. Now, look at problem 21. Now, do you see where there's a, another variable in there? Now you're dealing with a couple of variables. So if you're given this picture, 2x plus 25, and you're told this is y degrees, and this is 3x, Minus 10. Solve for the x first. Okay? These are a linear pair, aren't they? And they sum 180. But you'll have two different variables in your equation. So don't do that. All right? Use the fact that these two angles are vertical angles, they're opposite of each other, aren't they? And they're congruent to each other. So solve for x first, OK? And then substitute to get this angle measure. And then solve for y, OK? Same holds true with 22, 23, and 24. When you write your equations, make sure that you're choosing expressions that have the same variable in them. After you solve for that variable, you can substitute to get the actual angle measure and then solve for the other variable. Okay? So your assignment is going to start on page 51. You 
we've got 19 through 28. Problems 19 through 28. 27 and 28 are on the back, or on the next page. You have to turn the page. And make sure that you check your odds. And headline for homework. 